right so now after your uh, tetrahedral complex let's start with learning the geometry of octahedral complexes see this is also a geometrical isomerism here also i'll be drawing cis and trans isomers but only difference is the type of um, isomers which you're going to see now here when i say octahedral complexes how should the ligands be arranged this is your metal atom just see one two three four <coughs> five and six this is how the metal atoms are going to, uh, ligands are going to arrange around the metal atoms, so octahedral geometry. So, whichever structure you draw, you will know, uh, draw it in that structure that the geometry should be followed. Otherwise, you know, you will not be given marks for that. So, remember. So, now this is M, metal atom with A4 and B2. Just see, 4 plus 2, 6. So, octahedral. A3, B3, octahedral. Here, <coughs> here this is a uh, chelating ligand. You have to be very careful here. AA2 means e a chelating ligands that is your bridging ligands so two that means two units on this side two units on that side four plus two six okay, let's see what did i say just now so whenever you have to study about a4 m a4 b2 so in the exam how is it given you will be given an example and you're supposed to try draw the isomeric form of that right so simple <laughs> let me take one example m a4 b2 okay so a metal complex cobalt this is the simplest example NH3 taken twice because it, so they have given 4 so NH3 taken twice should be 4 total is 6 isn't it right apart from that B, A, B2 is C simple now let us start draw the cis and trans isomer so for cis isomer as I said on the same side trans isomer on the opposite side cobalt here <coughs> NH3 so your geometry should follow this this should be the geometry so 6 isn't it so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, towards uh, the side towards the other side so front wave view and rear view so here i am writing nh3 nh3 <coughs> nh3 nh3 here again nh3 and cl so just see all this ammonia are on the same side just see same side that's why cis isomer right if i have to join like this this is you no know, like right one two three four five six octahedral geometry so now i have to draw cis isomer simple now here all the ammonia are on opposite sides isn't it <coughs> now where are this uh, cl2 there, there should be one more cl isn't it let's see how many ammonia did i draw one two three four i have to draw four ammonias and two cls i'm sorry this is a mistake so let's try to make this ammonia here try to make the cl here oh, okay now it's correct ammonia on one side cis isomer cl also on one side cis isomer now for the trans isomer take this cobalt first draw the structure 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 octahedral geometry so how should i write the arrange this one <coughs> now they are adjacent to each other now try to uh, uh, make uh, you know uh, ammonia opposite to this that means you are try to get the cl here and try to send you can hold one you can observe one suppose if you're taking this now they are adjacent to each other now try to get the cl here and ammonia here how am i drawing cl and cl in respect with respect to one and the left over ammonia so you can draw so what are you observing you are observing that here cl was adjacent here cl is opposite so it's trans isomer adjacent are cis opposite are trans so this is your first type when i have to draw this next type of next category that ma3 b3 so let's see <coughs> now here i'm going to take co i'm going to take nh3 same thing for you to remember three times b3 i'm going to take no2 taken three times simple now let us write the first cis isomer so here we are going to learn two important things one is called fac and this is mer this is facial isomer this is meridonial mer means meridonial isomer how to draw draw the cobalt in the center right ammonia a three and nitrate is three so just write one two three four five and six right now <coughs> observe carefully no2 here NO2 here, NO2 here on this side. That means this whole plane, if I have to draw, just observe carefully this thing, this whole thing. Yeah, so this is called when and the remaining are NH3, NH3, 
in H3. So, when they are towards the side on the facial uh, angle of the facial side of the cobalt, so all together they are on one side. Just see, all NO3 is on one side, NH3 is on one side. It is called facial isomer. So, when I have to draw the meridonia, take this cobalt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, now you have to be careful in arranging. <coughs> Your NO2 is here, isn't it? Take that NO2 and you know just shift it like whole thing. This goes this shifts in this direction. This this the whole thing is like this. So this whole all the group will come on this direction. This becomes NO2. Yeah, this also becomes NO2. Now this is NH3. Now this one NO2 is still here, only this will shift on this direction. NH3 and NH3. Now, how is this? this? This is called meridonial, isn't it? This is meridonial of cobalt. Meridi meridian we say. So, one this and this angle. So, you have to be very careful. This is on this side. Meridonial means in this direction. So, one, two and three. You just take these two and shift it on this side. When you are shifting, ammonia will come down. Done. So, let's come back and see M A sample. So, here whenever you see such particular, uh, you know, ligand which is mentioned A A, that means this is a bidentate ligand. <coughs> bidentate ligand which has two donor sites, means two on the side, two on the side, total four. So, four sites to uh, donate to the metal atom. So, the best example is if I have to take, take cobalt, right? Bidentate ligand, we have already studied one uh, video, we have studied in one of the video that is your ethylene diamine, which is represented by EN. East EN stands for ethylene diamine <coughs> and pick the Cl. What is the formula for this? This is CH2, CH2, NH2, NH2. Right? So, if I have to write, suppose if you want to show that uh, nitrogen outside, you can write like that also. H2N and H2N. So, two donor sites to the metal atom. So, I have to draw cis and trans isomer for this. How should I make? Take CO in the center. So, octahedral 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 for cis, 1 for trans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Done. This is uh, together, isn't it? Like one uh, unit. What am I going to do? Just see. <coughs> write one n here this n we will not show everything e and ethylene diamine we will this is ethylene right instead of ethylene we will write en so take this n okay right here one more n right here then right? one more n right here one more n right here fill this as chlorine now join this one and this one by en that means it is ethylene diamine so these h2s are these h2s now here also n n h2 n h2 and en okay yes this is called cis isomer now in trans isomer opposite sides isn't it you have picked adjacent this is and this is adjacent now it should be opposite try to make n here n here opposite n and n this is e n this is e n ethylene diamine just observe this is cl this is cl this is trans isomer now observe what are we finding we are finding ethylene now the ch2 is this one two u bridges two links n is here n and h2 and h2 so because it is present on the same side it is called cis isomer it is present on the opposite side it is called trans isomer so this is the class of um, octahedral complexes let's come back and do the next type